So this is where we're at. The Red Lion. Cunningham. And we're in the overflow, overflow car park just over there, look. What a fantastic location. So we've come to a local park up. I get treated to a game of cricket. There's the cricket uh, match. And we're just through here. Local pub. Stop over for the night. And that's where we are. That's the river with the bridge going over. And we're going to end up in the pub over there tonight. Fantastic. They've even cut the grass for us. Look at this. All the breasts. Are you videoing it? Yeah. yeah. Up. I'm not oh, locking up. it, man. Six down, down the ground. <laughs> That's the one you look at. Look at that. Somebody might want another one. If you want a shot, this is what you want. I ain't Tequila Rose. Oh, they all want more. Here we go, this is going to get messy. And Nettie's new car. Very nice. Price is right. <laughs> Al fresco eating. Unfortunately, I ain't got no toys. Kicking an arm How are you sitting, dude? Well, a lot of YouTube videos, I don't know. I do my course right. And that, it's <laughs> So oh, that's the meal done. Stuffed. Yeah. Expensive, but very nice. Uh, there was plenty on the plate, put it that way. So, got all the lights on now. Well, we parked up over there. Looks like the sun sets. Uh, we're too late for that. Good morning. Well, that was a very nice night at the Red Lion at Huntingham in uh, Warwickshire. It's about, what, 30 minutes from home for us, so it's not a bad little trip out. It's quite early on the Sunday morning now. I didn't sleep fantastic. Um, the sun was up very early, um, so that's why I'm sat here in the pub garden. Um, Absolutely beautiful day. I've just been out with a drone and uh, sent it under that little bridge over there to see if I can spot the heron. I can actually see the heron from here. I'm not quite sure you can, but uh, let's face you through. I think we can do a bit of a zoomy zoomy. I'll uh, add a picture in later, a little photo. And yeah, we're, uh, everybody else is still asleep. Um, we're going to have breakfast soon and uh, head away back home. We've got a few jobs to do on my son's uh, motorhome. We've got to cut some windows out for him, some bonded windows in. It's going to be a little bit of fun, I suppose. Um, you can see where the rest of the crowd are. Parked over there, look. Very, very quiet. But this was absolutely packed yesterday. I'll take you a little walk over there in a minute and have a look at that uh, outdoor bar. Uh, but yeah, it's a very old traditional pub. Food was very nice. And as you can see, 
it's quiet as a, if that's what you call it, a main road there. You see about three or four cars an hour go past. And that's it. Obviously we've got the river down here. I do know if you come here in the winter months, that as you can see the sign on the bridge, it does flood. There's a lot of floodgates on the uh, on the main door of the of the pub over there. So yeah, I would imagine this place is uh, underwater. Yeah, and a few other things. Um, I've had quite a lot of messages of people asking what uh, drone I actually use. Um, the answer to that is I've got a few. A bit fanatical on drones and model aircraft and uh, helicopters and all sorts of bits and bobs. I've done it for years. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, the Mini 3 Pro. I'll just cover my number up. Yeah, this is the uh, DJI Mini 3 Pro. Absolutely brilliant little drone, 249 grams, so obviously allows you to fly in certain areas where others can't. Um, doesn't actually require a license, it just needs an operator's ID. But yeah, you can take the license. Um, I've got a commercial license, I've been doing it for quite a long time. Um, and here's the little controller we've got. So with the three you get the built-in screen. It's absolutely brilliant. Even now, the sun's absolutely blaring down and you can actually see everything. Oh, look at that, we've got a low battery. Um, but yeah, I just took it over there, over that, under that bridge, without any problem. The sensors work. Um, it's not a recommended thing to do, unless you're quite uh, advanced. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you will dare it anyway. So yeah, that's the drone. It's a nice little area to eat in the winter or when it's uh, a rainy day. This was absolutely packed last night. So just outside the pub, just over the road, there's a public footpath across those fields, which is called the Millennium Way. And it's a 100 mile trail. Um, As you can see from there, you can see where it takes you. So we're just walking up over the bridge now. Uh, this is your entrance in. It's a bit narrow, but you can get your motorhome through there. charge points for cars, electric cars. Company called Volt Chair. That's handy for my little motor. Well that's it from this one folks. Thanks for coming on our journey with us and uh, hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye. It was a nice night um, at the Rose Inn. Is it the Rose Inn?